Meteorology is a science, and like any field of science, the information you start with is going to impact your outcome. In weather, that means real-time accurate data to start to create your forecast. Now, getting surface observational data is simple. You can use a thermometer. There's various weather stations around, but how do you get information for what's happening above our heads throughout the atmosphere? I'm Deidre Dolan. I'm a meteorologist here at WFO Jacksonville with the National Weather Service, and today we're going to launch a weather balloon. Over 90 sites across the country do this at least twice a day to collect weather data. Balloon, which is basically a giant balloon, almost like a party balloon, but a bit thicker and heavy duty so that it can make it all the way up in the atmosphere. And that rises about 90,000 to 100,000 feet up in the atmosphere. And that takes measurements of temperature, humidity, pressure, wind speed. And we also put that model into, or that data into our weather models. Remember, the more accurate information you can put into the model, the better result you will get back. And so we rig up the balloon to a nozzle that will fill it with hydrogen. So now she's filling up the balloon with hydrogen. As this sign shows over here, it is very flammable. So thus, no phones or electronics inside the balloon house. And then once it fills with hydrogen, it lifts a weight that's connected to the table so we know exactly how much hydrogen is in the balloon. And then once it lifts, it will automatically shut off and then we can shut off the hydrogen and safely tie off the balloon for launch. Now time for the fun part. Attached to the balloon is a 100 foot cord and attached to that is the radio sound carrying all those important weather sensors. Here we go. A successful launch. Now the balloon is cruising upwards, collecting meteorological data. So over here we have our data, up here we have our tracking display, and we have a graph format of all the data we're getting, temperature, humidity, pressure, and wind, and then we can see where it is relative to us. The balloon does eventually pop, and the radio sound falls back to Earth via a parachute. And yes, sometimes it can fall into your backyard. So what should you do? It's not dangerous at all, and that's the point of the parachute is to slow it down, so it's not dangerous to anything, it won't cause any damage, but it is labeled on the side, National Weather Service instrument, do not be afraid, this is completely safe. And inside, there's a tube attached to the radio sonde and it has a mailing bag. So if you find one of these sondes, you can just take out the mailing bag and mail it directly back to us. And that is just one of the many factors that goes into creating a forecast. At the National Weather Service office in Jacksonville, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News, on your side.